Hey guys, welcome to another Artsy Trio video. It's taken me a while to figure out what to create for this month's mood board for lots of reasons. Life has just been really busy and kind of stressful. Um, I'm working through some mental health issues, which are, um, that whole process is going very well. Just FYI, if you want to learn more about that, um, I do a weekly vlog and I talk about it in almost every one right now. Um, but anyway, I thought about it and thought about it and thought about it. And I was going to, again, do an in this journal, which is where I've been doing them. And this is my experiments journal where I do lots of different painting experiments. This one was um, one of the mood boards. And I thought, you know, I really want to take the colors from that month. And I want to see, can we do an acrylic pour in a journal? Well, yeah, you can. Um, and I wanted to do yet another art experiment. But I thought, why do I have to just do paint? Can I do something else? So I did pull some paint and we're gonna do an ex another art experiment, but we're also going to use some collage papers. So I think we're gonna work on the gray one and do the notes on the white one. That's what I'm feeling at the moment. Um, this is the mood board for this month. I will, I'll put it over here and I'll try to like zoom in for you all. Um, I took the mood board, which this month was created by Mike, and I pulled some scrapbooking paper. I don't have a ton of this anymore, but I do keep some around because I do use it for collage. Um, and I pulled some colors inspired by the mood board, and I also pulled some paint. So we are going to see where we go with this. I have a design in mind, um, sunflower themed. Think of that what you will. Um, and I'm going to see where we can go with this and um, yeah, I'm going to use the collage papers, some paint, and my favorite glue, you glue stick. So let's get to it and I will be right back.
I have to say that I forgot how fun paint over collage was because I haven't really done a lot of it lately but that was a lot of fun. It was a fun experiment and it was fun using those bits and pieces of papers that I have in my stash for who knows how long. Uh, the water soluble pencil, for those of you don't, that don't know, is a Stabilo All pencil and this is in the brown color, uh, one eight, I'm sorry, 8045. Um, and I used all Blick matte acrylic paints. Um, I prefer to use a matte finish paint in my journal. That way when I close the pages, I don't have to worry about putting gesso or wax or anything. They don't stick together. So anyway, all right. So that's it. That's what I did with this month's mood board. It turned out really well. Um, bold conviction just seemed to fit um, for a lot of reasons. We'll leave it at that. Anyway, I would love to see what you guys do. If you want to download a copy of the mood board this month, I'm gonna, I am going to make some notes over here, but if you want to download a copy of the mood board for this month, join us over in the Facebook group Artsy Trio, and you can get a copy of the mood board and past mood boards over there. And then when you do do something, if you would like, post it in the group, and um, all of us teachers will um, be happy to um, take a look and give you some encouragement. And I love to see what you're all doing. If you have a particular teacher in mind, do tag them in the post. Um, check out the video description for the link to the Facebook group, but also links to my co-teaching um, um, group, uh, Mike Deacon and Bea Grob. Their links for their videos are down in the video description. Let's see what they've done this week with the mood board. I love the way mine turned out. I can't wait to see what they do. Anyway, that's it for today. Don't forget to um, stay safe, stay creative, stay healthy. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Make some art, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.